everybody and welcome to Starbucks. I mean, totally trendy. Today we are of course talking about Starbucks. Everyone's favorite. I mean, not everyone. I know there are some people that like prefer coffee bean for certain drinks. But Starbucks is infamous. It is a staple of commercialism. Never mind, we don't have to go down that route. Look at my mermaid. Did you guys know that this was a mermaid? I didn't until I was drawing it and looked it up. Fun fact for you guys. Starbucks is pretty infamous, but it can also get very expensive. And that's not fun for anybody. And there have been a few Starbucks drinks where I'm like, okay, I'm sure I could make this at home and it would be 10 times cheaper. And guess what? It is, it really is. But so today I'm gonna show you guys three DIY Starbucks drinks. These are the real ones that I just got from Starbucks and we're gonna make our own and then I am gonna have my coworkers try and decipher which one is real and which one is the DIY version. Let's get started. Let's start off with our strawberries and cream frappuccino. I have never had this before but I was able to find what I think is gonna be a very decent substitute. You're essentially making a strawberry milkshake. There's no tea in this. There's no coffee. This is one of those drinks for all you guys who don't like coffee, like me. So here we have all of the ingredients we're gonna need for this. We have ice. You need about 10 like regular sized ice cubes. You can always use and add more ice as you go to get that consistency you want. One cup of milk. And you can make this vegan or non-dairy by using almond milk instead. Some strawberries, this is very important. Three tablespoons of powdered sugar. It's gonna make it nice and sweet. So we go one, two, three. And then our last little thing that's gonna make this taste nice and yummy is a teaspoon of vanilla. Yeah, perfect. And now we just blend this nice and up and then we will have ourselves a little strawberries and cream frappuccino. There we go. We have our strawberries and cream frappuccino. Now I will say I wish I added a little bit more ice, but I think it's good. Mine looks a little bit darker than the original. The strawberries and cream frappuccino used to, or at least in some photos of the advertisement, have these like, this like strawberry syrup on the inside and made the drink look really cool. The one that I got didn't have that. It was a little disappointing, but I'm gonna add it to mine anyways. Boop. Just have that on the sides. And now pour this in. Oh, that looks cool. And then, ugh, oh, why can I never get this off? And then we are gonna top it off with some whipped cream. Now I will say the whipped cream obviously looks different. So I wanna see if people think that this looks more realistic than that. I will say side by side, this looks a little bit gross compared to the one that I made. So let's bring someone in and see if they can tell which one is the real one. Look at these. This one looks more purple. I like mine better. Bring in the contestant. Sierra! Okay. You guys know Sierra. Did you guys know Sierra used to work at Starbucks? I did for five years. <laughs> five years. Okay, so let's see how this goes. Oh, no. I have two strawberries and cream frappuccinos. I added whipped cream to both of them just to, you know, like make it maybe a little harder to decipher, but go ahead. First impressions, what are your thoughts? First impressions, I'll be honest, neither of them look like they were made at Starbucks. Ooh, bum bum bum. Actually, this one does a little bit more because of how it's separating. <laughs> Give us a little taste test. You, you, you can pick them up too. That's it. <laughs> okay. Okay. This one does taste like a strawberry and cream. Okay, I'm gonna pick this up. <laughs> This one tastes very strawberry, but not like a strawberries and cream. Bum, bum, bum. But the texture of it is thicker, which I actually like better. You hear that, like, folks? Regular frappuccinos are like thinner in their texture. You basically got it. This is the one from Starbucks. I think what you said was really interesting. It is separating. So tell us about that. It's because Starbucks only puts this much milk to the top line. And because there's so much ice, it separates really fast. Oh, because like the ice is like melting too. Mm -hmm. So like the milk so and the separates. water separate yep but yeah so this one was my <laughs> version and i did add I like, like strawberry syrup really yeah oh, that i makes actually me so do happy. like this better well here it's free you can have oh, it thanks. enjoy i figured these might not fool an actual former starbucks employee but now i get to taste it oh this tastes good like i said i've never had this one before so let's see 
I think they're pretty close, but this one tastes like a very faint, artificially flavored strawberry, and this tastes like straight up strawberry. Yeah, I prefer this one way over that. It's time for one of my personal favorite Starbucks drinks, the matcha green tea frappuccino. Now this is the original. It's really fascinating me what Sierra just said about how they only fill up like this much with milk, and that's kind of why it starts to separate so quickly. For this one, it's essentially all of the same base ingredients, but I am going to try using a little bit less milk. So we have our milk. We're still gonna do the three tablespoons of powdered sugar. Keep this nice and sweet. Now, I do have a little bit of ice in here. I have run out of ice. That's unfortunate. I have more cooking or freezing right now, but it's just not gonna be ice by the time I need it for this. So if this doesn't turn out um, frappuccino-y enough, I am gonna add in some ice cream. So now this is the key part. You need matcha powder. Super easy to find. I got this at Walmart. And we are just gonna do one and a half tablespoons of this. Go one and a half. I love the smell of matcha, wow. I think this is gonna be good. Let's blend this. If it starts looking more like a latte, then I'm just gonna add in the ice cream. Okay, so it's definitely a little too liquidy, so let's add in just some vanilla ice cream. So here we have it. It definitely turned out more liquidy than I would have liked, but unfortunately, we just don't have any more ice, so we will see how the taste is, maybe just not the texture. It is just time to like top it off with whipped cream. They put a lot of whipped cream on top of this one it's like all the way down to there at this point so we made just the right amount well that kind of went everywhere so let me first just take a sip of the normal wow i mean it's melted so much this just tastes liquid like there's no no frappuccino consistency really it truly just tastes like a really cold iced latte so now oh man okay let's taste my creation wow nice. wow Oh, Sam, what did you do wrong? <laughs> Way too much matcha powder in this. Oh, woo! I gotta try it again just to make sure. Maybe if I mix in the whipped cream a little bit more. Wow. The second sip wasn't as strong. Maybe I just like got a big chunk of it or something, but wow, that was a lot. It's definitely more rich than this one. Oh, which one do I like better? This one just tastes like green tea flavored milk and this tastes like green tea. Guys, I really don't know. I'm so undecided. I think I'm gonna say I like this one better. The original Starbucks. Just because it's more, um, it's a little less intense. They're both really good. This one is just definitely like Wow, green tea, it's there. I think if I just combined the two of these, it would be like the perfect one. Guys, it is finally time for us to move away from Frappuccinos, which is really good because I don't have any more ice. We are gonna move on to another iced drink. This one, you can probably guess what I was brewing, um, involves coffee. Now, I am not a coffee drinker, but thankfully I am surrounded by coffee drinkers here, so I will have an expert opinion. By expert, I just mean someone who drinks coffee a lot. On how my creation turns out. We are gonna be making the ice salted caramel mocha yeah so this right here is our mocha it is essentially dark coffee with like some hot chocolate in there whipped cream caramel salt a lot of ice again I forgot this drink is iced so I am gonna need ice hopefully our ice will be done freezing by now there's a lot in here there's a lot going on I have already brewed some coffee and it is now chilling in the fridge because it can't be hot the next thing I need to do is make some hot chocolate so for the hot chocolate part of this drink we are just gonna take one cup of milk and then we're just gonna add in about like two tablespoons of chocolate if you want this super super chocolatey you can add more I'm gonna use one of my Starbucks straws to stir it up and then you're just gonna microwave it for a little bit look at the hot chocolate bubbles whoa Okay, anyways, so now that we have our hot chocolate, we are gonna take some caramel sauce and just put in really however much you want. And then we stir this nice on up. I will say the thing that I've been trying to like pay attention to is like how long it takes me to make these drinks because obviously baristas have to make them very quickly. And as far as the matcha and the strawberry frappuccino go, it took me less than 10 minutes on each of them. I am gonna put this in the fridge just to chill a little bit. So our coffee is still chilling in the fridge. Hot chocolate will be 
be chilling in the fridge. And then we're gonna put them all together and have a good time. Okay, bye. So we're still waiting on the ice. But now we are gonna pour in some hot chocolate. And I'm just gonna fill it. It's kind of hard to tell because, you know, the ice is gonna go in. So then we're just gonna pour in a little bit of coffee on top of that. Now this has been chilled for a little bit. So we're just gonna... Cool. I'm gonna put a little bit of caramel just on the top here. So we'll do that. And then we just go bam, 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 bam. Oh, here we have our side by side, folks. I think mine looks prettier, but we have to have someone who actually drinks coffee taste this. Welcome to Starbucks. I have made a uh, iced salted caramel mocha. Stop, really? Yeah. What the And heck? so I need you to taste both of those and tell me which one is better. Slash which one is the real one and which one is Zipfic. Obviously there is a visual difference between them, but give us your thoughts. The eyebrows are raised. She seems instantly caffeinated. That's, that's good stuff. <laughs> I didn't even taste them because I don't drink coffee, so I don't even know what it's supposed to taste like. It tastes good, but it doesn't taste like coffee. It doesn't taste like coffee at all? No. And what now I, I have to try it. It's like caramel water. It's like no coffee in it. Uh, what are you insulting me? I'm a coffee drinker though and you're not. <laughs> what do you mean that's no coffee? I can taste oh it my burning gosh. my tongue. Here, taste this. I don't want to. Yes, you do. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, can you make me five now? A five of them? Yeah. Well, how about two? There okay. you go. Thanks, bud. Well, yay, I would say two out of three of those were definitely successful. The strawberry frappuccino and the matcha one were both really good. The last one, what can I say? I'm not a coffee drinker, so I didn't even try it before I gave it to Catherine. But the whole point is to prove to you guys that you can make these drinks at home yourself. You can find any recipe to a Starbucks drink online, so I highly recommend you look it up and try to make your favorite drink at home yourself. So I really hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know what other kind of like fast food chain things you want me to try to DIY. Let me know in the comments down below, and as always, be sure to subscribe. I will see you guys later. Bye.